Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 7. And this time we have the Clover Project B3.0 based on Android 16. This is an unofficial ROM for this device, so you can't really expect much. But as far as my testing goes, the ROM is quite good and working pretty well. So as you can see here, the Clover Project Android 16 version is 3.0 and the security patch level is from 5th of June 2025. Although it's an Android 16 based ROM, but the setting UI is pretty much similar to Android 15 based. But the control panel does look like Android 16 based as you can see here. You can customize all these things, but there is issue related to this control panel. Sometimes you will see this as a transparent control panel, but when you touch that control panel, it fixes the issue. And in terms of network connectivity like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. In my testing, I haven't faced any issue. In the app section, we do get few things here like default apps, cloned apps, app lock, allow app downward and also select keybox XML to spoof. So by default, you are not getting safety net feature. If you want to fix it manually, you can do it from here. Usually you get dedicated customization option on custom ROMs, but you are not getting here. So most of the customization option you will get in the default options. And there are a few other things available here as you can see. In the notification panel, so everything seems to be similar. Modes option is available. And in terms of battery, the battery backup is pretty good. Although we are not getting any kind of fast charging, the charging kept at 10 watt. And we do get few customization options related to battery. So like battery style, you can make it circle. And also charging control is available as you can see here. And in the battery information, we do get few things here as you can see here. But I don't really know how reliable these informations are. And in terms of sound and vibration, working well, no issue at all. But we are not getting part app volume control option. In the additional sound option, we do get few things here. Also, we are getting a special audio option, as you can see. In the display setting, we are getting adaptive brightness, dark theme, and few other things here. And also a few features related to customization like 4G icon, show data disable icon, Wi-Fi standard, and few things here. Double tap to work and double tap to sleep, both of them working. As you can see, no issue at all. Accessibility option is available. In terms of security and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And both of them working actually. So as you can see here, fingerprint unlock, pretty fast, no issue at all. And the face unlock is also available. It is a little bit slower side. As Android 15 or 16 based ROM, as you can see here, we do get private space. And in the more security and privacy option, we do get few other options here, as you can see here, standard unlock, theft protection, SIM lock, and other things. Location is working well. In the system setting, we do get few other features. In the gesture option, we get quick tap, which is working. Swipe to screenshot is working. And navigation mode. So circle to search is available, as you can see here. We can press and hold and it is working and also you can disable the feature and in the miscellaneous option we are getting only google play integrity spoof but does not work the device setting we do get few features here as you can see here like display calibration and all those things and also we are getting thermal setting here so we can put it in performance mode to get a little better performance out of this rom I don't really know if you have noticed or not. There is one thing missing, which is wallpaper and style. So that is not available in the setting panel, as you can see here, but we can search it. Wallpaper, as you can see here, wallpaper and style option available. So we can change wallpaper from here. And we do get few default wallpapers here. Like in the gradient mode, we do get gradient wallpapers. And as you can see here, Ashura collection. So we do get few of wallpapers here too and OnePlus, we do get OnePlus wallpapers and 
the default wallpaper is here so you can see by default you are getting this wallpaper with this rom and in the more lock screen setting we do get few other options as you can see here but no aod option available and you can change the clock from here and also you can access the wallpaper install directly from home screen as you can see it is crashing but we can try again as you can see here, it is working now. In terms of application, we are not getting much here. And we are not getting any kind of MIUI camera and also any sorts of camera here. I did install a Gcam which is working but slower side. It takes time to load the camera as you can see here. But the camera application is working and I did record few videos with this camera application. As you can see here, photos and the video mode. We can record so working well no issue at all strangely enough we are not getting google photos unlimited storage with this rom as you can see here but magic editor is working so if i try now edit and hence i don't really know why the circle does not work in first time and you can try erase so as you can see here it is working whatsapp is working up WhatsApp is working well, no issue at all. And we do get bipod effects for audio related calibration, but we are not getting any kind of audio player here. And in terms of phone call, as I said, Bo LTE and Bo Wi Fi working, but unfortunately, no call recording option available. In terms of Google Play product certification, we are not getting Google Play product certification with this ROM. So, bank apps not going to work. Fortunately, chat gpt is working in custom roms if you don't really have safety net chat gpt doesn't work but here it is working and at last in terms of gaming the gaming performance is pretty good i did play call of duty in default setting i was getting consistent 40 to 45 fps which is kind of good and it's better than the stock rom so in terms of gaming also you can go with this rom and overall ui actually pretty good as you can see here pretty smooth everything working well and as i said notification sometimes gets transparent as you can see here now found the issue again if i touch it it fix the issue so you will see this issue with this rom but as you can see other things are working pretty fine it can keep the application in memory so RAM management is also pretty good So overall, the ROM is pretty decent. If you want a 116 based ROM, you can't really get better than this. Anyway, if you want to try this ROM, the ROM link will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.